So last session started up in the middle of combat between the final two undead minotaurs before you all rushed towards the chapel at the cemetery center. Upon your arrival, Pip, Eris, and Nefira were informed by their familiars that the zombies had lost interest in their distraction and were heading back towards them. Acting fast, Spark rushed inside to gather, uh, to start gathering debris to barricade the chapel doors. Failing to notice, six undead creatures emerge from the chapel's pillars and converge on the rest of the party. These creatures followed the party inside, forcing them to fight back and attempt to barricade the chapel's front doors at the same time. Even with Eris and Anatole being weakened from the creatures' attacks and Pip going unconscious, the gremlins were successful in zombie-proofing the chapel and clearing it of present dangers. Tired and injured, the party traveled downstairs to take a short rest. But while Eris and Anatole and Nefira's strength returned, Pip and Lulu remained injured, having had some of their life force sucked out of them during the combat. And by some, most of Pip's. <laughs> by some, Pip is Three now like them. a level two wizard. Um, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Despite this, oh, the party fine. was able to find booted footprints and followed them in the hopes that they would lead to the Grand Duke. At the end of the trail, you found the Grand Duke, crouched on the ground, unable to remove the Helm of Torm's sight from his head, as three demons stepped out from the portal. One uh, super skinny, lanky, leathery-looking demon with a kind of curved horn, and two um, almost like bear-like creatures that stepped out on either side uh, with these torn snouts and ears. And as we start today's session, we are going right into combat as as Spark is already lining things up i need everyone to go ahead and give me uh and your best initials. knows what i might be doing <laughs> off the rip oh maybe not uh spark got a fat seven no ads to that <laughs> That's with his initiative Ooh, modifier. Okay. I rolled a five. A seven for That's Spark. Her. Damn. Uh, Lulu uh, got that... a flat ten. Okay. Pip got a fourteen total. Pip got a fourteen. This is Paris? for initiative, right? Yes, initiative. Okay. That's uh, a thirteen. Oh no. Okay. I keep rolling poorly on initiative. Uh, mine's a twelve. Wow, we got uh, 14, 13, 12, 10. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, is Anatoly gonna, gonna give us 11. the eleven? Let me let me see. Um, I'm gonna put Lulu right here. I will probably forget. Wait, wait, Lulu. wait! I have advantage on initiative rolls because my magic weapon is on my person. You do. So let me try that again, <laughs> and that is the exact same number. Okay. Nice. Ooh, no, that's the spot cool. you're meant to be in life. Okay. <laughs> hey, Anatoly got a. Uh, 14, 16. Oh, yeah, he's actually he's going the, early. He's the, he's the one first. going first from the group. <laughs> no, before me. <laughs> also, sorry, uh, Mads, would it be fair to say oh, Spark can yell something out before combat kicks off? Or... Yeah, yeah I'd say that's fine. He's gonna yell out to the group. The helmet is what I picked up with divine sense. We need to get it off him. All right. Um, no so. idea if that's going to be <laughs> relevant, but that would be the first thing he'd shout out to follow up the whole, hey, there's probably two things fighting in the next room. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's all in the helmet. <laughs> uh, so as uh, you shout that spark, we go to the top of the round which is Anatole with a, a, a wild 16. Um, oh, and, and Hopefully those is, three things rolled bad. He is all the way in the back. Um, <laughs> I can't pop, put him to the side. He, I mean, get in gonna, past Spark and Eris is gonna be uh, he, he pro he an can't. ordeal. He's, he's just as big as, like, He's tall and he's wearing plate metal. The two of you standing next to each other, you'd get fucking caught. Um, all right, he's going to hold his 
uh, hold his movement. His action is going to be his movement to get out once he can get past Pip and Nefira. Um, so once Eris and or Spark moves and there's an opening, he will move his uh, his amount. That is not what I want to do at the top of this round. Okay. Um, next up. The dice have already chose mayhem. Yep. Next up is going to be the demon in the center. Um... Demon in the center episode title. <laughs> <laughs> we're, start, we're trying to get the episode title within the first two minutes of every game. Devil upstairs, Apparently. the demon in the center. This is Listen, sometimes you strike gold immediately. Sometimes. Okay. So, this uh, very alien esque, like the alien movies looking creature, like Xenomorph. Uh, I think Don't that's like from that. Aliens. <laughs> Uh, long talons, sharp rows of teeth, this spiked horn. It's like oozing a kind of like reddish acid almost, it looks like. Uh, it's nasty. Oh my God. Um, it's going to turn its head. And great, the one spot I need to see, I can't because of my touching. No, that's fine. All right, it's going to turn and it's going to uh, kind of look at you, Spark, and, like, tilt its head, and it's going to cast Heat Metal, um, on Spark. There oh, is I... no save, um, yeah, that's because just, you're wearing that... metal, uh, so it's 2d8 fire damage, um, and you, until, uh, the spell ends, you can, um, let's see, let me read this. If you're wearing yeah, an object, is... uh, you take damage from it. You can't. There's no Constitution save. You can't drop your armor. Um, you have disadvantage yeah, on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. And by uh, your next turn, I believe it is your next turn. So you are up somewhat close. Um, but that is going to be. Hold on, I'm seeing when the damage hits. Uh... It's uh, it's as soon as I use it. Yeah, it. and it's bonus actions on follow-up turns. Yeah. To just continue pumping damage. Uh... So, 2d8. Hey, uh, Y'all, Matt's found a way to threaten Spark. <laughs> That's 10 points of fire damage. Um, as Eris, you look over and you see, like, you and uh, Spark have kind of noticed the situation of what's going on. You're getting ready to go. And you see his armor start to radiate, he he uh, like, heat and glow. And you are very aware that that is not, that can't feel good. Uh, that would suck even for you <laughs> um, as a fire genasi. We just started. <laughs> it's always the fire attacks. Why is it always the fire attacks? Um... And then he is with his. I can cast one. He's going to move up. Um, yeah. He's going to move here and start to uh, use um, another action to figure out what is going on with. Uh, the Grand Duke, as you can imagine that it also can sense this, like, demonic but celestial presence. Um, and so that is going to be that creature's turn. Pip is up. Nefira on deck. This is, wow. this is a good good thing. A good group to have go first. <laughs> what you doing, Pip? <laughs> what are the two people behind the uh, the strong ones going to do? Okay, um... There's so, a chance they can get under our feet. They can. Uh, so there is that. Um, I'm totally still ask. waiting. <laughs> and you <laughs> do you do see uh, Spark's armor start to heat up. Um, mm. Pip, yeah. what are you doing? Um, sees that, um, which uh, solidifies his uh, plan of casting False Life. Um, <laughs> All right. So let's go. Skill D4, come on, give me a four. Thank you very much. Um, so eight temporary hit points. Nice, Are nice. Are you casting at the second or third level? You know what? I should cast it at a third level. You should cast it at a third level. I will agree with that statement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so... Uh, can't cast spells if you're dead, so... <laughs> I can't cast spells if I'm dead. And um, also, you hopefully got most of your spell slots back from Arcane Recovery. I did! Um, That's so good. That is, <laughs> um... 18 temp HP, which is <laughs> more Massive! Than, oh, oh, wait, 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 I messed up. 13? 14 HP? Wait, hang on. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I'm messing things up. Um, temp HP, I'm... Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah. What is your total HP at right now? now? Pip? What? What's your HP at? 29. <laughs> hey, look at that. Almost... That's closer to what it should be. <laughs> Almost back at what it, is. it was. All right, anything else from Pip? Ten more left. <laughs> um... I'm at full health, so I can't take a health potion yet. Um, don't know what to do with uh, either bonus actions. Um, so... No... I mean, I could hex one of these guys, but... You cast a leveled spell with your action. I sure did, you're right. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to remember that thing. Anyway, no, I'm good. I can't do anything. All right. That's Pip's turn. Nefira, you're up. Eris on deck. Is that like push Eris out of the way? <laughs> you could. Right. Okay. Yeah, Eris push Eris into combat and be like, go on, bestie. <laughs> go get him, girl. I mean, you, I was about to say, you could push Sparks since he, if you tell him, he won't resist. Yeah. No, I'm good. I, I'm not going to do anything. All right. Not gonna trigger any PTSD <laughs> from Ares if you just suddenly push her. <laughs> Alright, that is mm -hmm. Pip's turn. Nefira up, Ares on deck. Uh... You will have to get out from between Spark and Ares if you want to shoot at anyone. Um, yeah. Because they are blocking the way. This is the problem about putting the big people, the big uh, people first. We what if I crash out and I shot from, like, underneath, from, like, between their legs or something? <laughs> uh, mechanically, like, no, because it, you it. shouldn't be able to, uh, I'm do short that enough. with both of them there. You could poke out, poke back in. Yeah, I probably will do something like that. Uh, because... Just the question of with... weapon resistance is... Yeah, shooting with a bow is probably the smartest, so I shall come up here and I shall shoot at... Who shall I shoot at? That's the question. Yeah, you can see that these, the two mm -hmm. uh, that just stepped through the portal, the little bear-looking things, um, are kind of sniffing around, you're uh, trying to figure out who to go after, and that creepy alien demonic presence is now it's like nine feet tall and is crouched over top of a kneeling um grand duke oh fun okay uh hmm i guess i could shoot for the grand duke because are you gonna shoot the grand duke <laughs> Whoa, okay, I didn't know that's what- Alright, I think you could. He's that's just... a valid target, he's on the field, I guess. Um... He's- He's the- Isn't he Man. the dude we wanted to No, 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 that- You're- He's you're on your the side, queen. theoretically he's on oh. your side. <laughs> Listen, I know Nakira about killing- the other dude. No, this that, that one- was, yes. That was the Duke- German name. We don't know this guy's <laughs> okay. name. German you do know name. this one's name. It's Ravengard. It's uh, oh. the leader of the Flaming okay. Fist. Oh, oh true. The Flaming Fist would dude. absolutely yeah. know this guy's name. I thought this was like yep. the. Possibly. Sold all the souls. No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay. My bad. I got <laughs> confused with everything. Oh, like, like, okay. okay. Never mind. Everyone, <laughs> they're all I, dead. Am, I am happy we have this table to <laughs> Yes, because I was like, hmm. I was like, you can shoot him, I guess. We'll figure that out after. <laughs> Anatoly will have some okay, words. Okay. Ooh. Man, He's I thought dude wearing the helm though, right? Yeah, he so he is kind of like struggling, like crouching on the ground. Like you can see he's attempting to pull it off, but it, it seems like he can't get the helmet off. 
He is, he is not, not really off. aware. He's, he okay. looks fantastic, though, with that helmet on. Um, but yeah, right. you see he's dealing with some internal struggles uh, and or does wait, not okay. seem to be I aware. Was, I was gonna ask about, like, mechanics-wise, if it would be possible to try to, like, shoot the helmet off of him. But if he's struggling to just pull it off, that probably wouldn't work at all anyway, so... Yeah, no. You gather there's something more going on than just him being too weak to take a helmet off. <laughs> I shall, and then shoot at, mm. I guess I'll shoot at the big bad, because why not? Yeah, the big tall dude. Is Nefira hitting from it right now? Mm, no, because she had to step out to okay, shoot fair, from fair. behind. Alright, let's see what I've And I will, here. I do not call him an ally because he is technically incapacitated right now so you do not get sneak attack. Uh, the the Grand Duke is um, technically incapacitated. Oh, I don't even get sneak attack. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> okay. Love that for me. Let's see. Hey, he might roll garbage on his concentration That's check if you That's true. Connect. He does have to maintain concentration on that uh, heat metal. I... I doubt it'll actually land, but I rolled a 16. 16 just hits. Whew. Really? Yes. Oh, heck it's yes. mostly just the leathery flesh and bones. Okay, I was so expecting that to not hit. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. In that case, I roll for damage. Yay. All right. Short bow is my d6. Let's use this one. It worked well last time. Please, please. That's a three plus a three, so that's six damage. As much. you uh, release the arrow um, and you see it kind of start to bury its way into the skin, it also, like, the skin almost like rejects and the arrow falls out. Uh, it does not seem to do as much damage as you would hope sense, but DC 10 so concentration check. Yes. Uh, that is an 18 plus 3. He maintains. It's more than a 10. <laughs> it is. <Yes. laughs> Thank you. Alright, so on any connected hit needs to roll a 6 or below. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Anything else, Nafira? Are you hopping back behind cover? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, 100% hop it back. Alright, you duck back around Spark, and you feel as you brush by Spark how fucking hot uh, the metal has become, as Spark's, like, trying to pull it away from, like, his neck or, like, any, you know, vital areas that would not feel so great to have hot metal on. Listen, in the past 12 hours, Spark's flesh has cooked so much. <laughs> between um, the shocking wait. grasp and the hiss. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, Eris is up, Lulu on deck. Oh my god. <laughs> You'll get there, Sorry. Spark. You'll get there. <laughs> dumb thought of, wow, I can't believe how hot Spark is. <laughs> so hot. Eris is, or Jafir is like, so hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for Eris' turn, are y'all gonna stay in this little corner, or is anyone gonna move? You're about to find <laughs> out! No. Uh, Anatoly, it's almost Anatoly's turn again. <laughs> He's gonna waste this whole turn if you don't move. <laughs> okay, so, to start, Eris is going to look at Pip. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that she's looked Pip in the eyes since... The God. incident? Oh. Yeah, since the incident. And she just has her, like, regular battle determined look on her face. And she reaches her hand out. And as she's reaching her hand out, her eyes, which were looking at Pip's blue eyes, quickly switch over to the yellow eye. And she hesitates, and her hand shakes a little bit. She looks away, puts her hand kind of hard on your head, and casts protection from good and evil. And then she's going to step out into combat. We're going to keep <laughs> this boy alive. I love it. Cinematic. You got a good <laughs> pat on the head. <laughs> All right. I would so, say it was a good pat on the head. It was, it was like a, a like, pat. It was kind of hard. That's yeah. a good pat. You've seen how I pat Ada. That's a good pat. He's solid thuds. 
All right. Um, so, <laughs> Eris, like, please, play it up, please. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to actually action surge now and make two attacks. All right. Go ahead. Got to break this concentration. And as you move out, you. um, Air, uh, Anatole is going to move 5, 10, 15, can he get 20, into flanking? 25, 30. He's going to move in. He can't get into flanking, but he's going to move at least to the other oh, side. I actually, um, yeah, I could move more, though, if he if he's moving kind of at the same time. I'd say, I said as soon as you stepped oh. out uh, as my movement, so yeah, I would imagine they're kind of going Yeah, I, can, I have enough movement to go yeah, and go flank. For it. Okay. You're just queuing yourself up for bad connect four. <laughs> Look, if they're not... Oh, yes! Natural 20! Oh. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. awesome! Okay, good, 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 good. This is very good. Um, That is good. I do more than 10 points of damage, so I actually have to roll a yeah, time save that's yeah. hard. Um, so... You can roll in that one. Oh my god! <laughs> I've been rolling the same number on my oh. d8 over and over again. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's not as much as it could have been. It's just 10 points of damage, of piercing damage, from the That's attack. Mm -hmm. But it is an additional 10 points of force damage from my tattoo. Okay. Um, so that is 15 points of damage. Ah, silvered uh, weapons are not enough. Not enough. Uh, but that force damage does help. Good, good. Um, Still and DC I have 10. To roll a DC, yeah, DC 10. Why is that like that? that bothers Do you want to me. roll the concentration check first, or should I make my second attack? I have to roll it per one, so it doesn't matter. Per go, hit. Go ahead. You have to roll per hit. All right, we'll go again. And he rolled a seven on the die, so kept it on that mm -hmm. one. Let's see. It is a. The next attack is. 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. So this one rolls better. No, it rolled worse. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Um, before not halved, right? That's not halved, yeah. Okay, so. Still DC 10. <laughs> That's three, four. What are we doing? Are we going up or down? I guess we're going up today. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say last session you went up. Yeah. It was just running down, but DMs and tank override. Every... And I think I went up for everyone, so whether... Yeah, last session you rounded up for all. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Gotta hit a 10 again. Nope, a 3 on the die. So, oh. Spark is okay. <laughs> Spark's just gonna yell, Thank you, Arius! <laughs> as uh, your metal armor begins to slightly cool off. Um, yeah, Eris also had a real cool cinematic moment where she had to vault over uh, this like railing situation into the water. It's not very deep, it's like less than a foot deep. So it does not count as difficult terrain or anything like that. Eris is so cool and cinematic at all times. <laughs> Thank you, I, I tried. I thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eris, anything else from you? Uh, no, I don't really have anything to do with my bonus action. And I used a lot of my movement, so I'm good. All right, Lulu is up, Spark on deck. Go, wow. Holy Twins, come on. Hmm. You... How deep underground are we? Um, let me just double check uh, something. Then... Oh yeah, speaking I of, think, I should. Um, I should you open still, up. You don't have disadvantage on anything anymore because it is the start of your turn, so that is fine. Uh, how deep I underground? Mean, um, you're probably a good thirty feet, maybe forty. Would Lulu think this is deep enough to muffle the sound of her trumpet? I will say it will hurt you all as w if she trumpets in an enclosed space where the reverberation will just come back at you. Um, so she probably wouldn't trumpet I would then. give you all disadvantage probably for a full round. Um, just because it will probably burst like eardrums and that's not fun from what I've heard. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we do probably One of these days then. she'll be able to trumpet in victory, you know? <laughs> 
Listen, that is her coolest move. I know. But it's like, she's not going to draw attention to the group she's traveling with. No, are you insane? Yeah. So, uh, Mads, I cannot move the token. Uh, that will just say Lulu. Lulu. All right, let me change that. Uh, maybe. Maybe I can change it. Maybe. There we go. Um, control okay, all. So, all right, you should be able to move now. All right. And... Um, She'll probably just actually probably stay back here and take the dodge action. So she is probably not happy about that hit she took last session. Oh yeah, she's pretty... What, uh... a third of her health? Mm -hmm. I had it ran down somewhere, but I don't think I saved the Excel sheet, but... Yeah, she's, she's in the mid-20s mid of her hit points. So, you know, her and Paper Health buddies. Yeah, exactly. All right. All right. Spark's turn. Um, he'll probably move up here, and he's going to yell out. All right, give them a moment to see if they run. Right, and go he is going to, for the first time, grab his holy symbol and activate his channel divinity, turn of the faithless. All right, so it is what? A wisdom save DC. Let me just double check the math okay word in for the save DC for channel divinity it says to use my paladin spell save DC so would sparks bracelets plus one carry over to this as well what does the bracelets do uh, it bumps his to spell attack mod and spell save DC by one yeah it would. <clears throat> All right, so I need. Let me just check measurements. So, a uh, question: Where's Val, and uh, where is <laughs> Vendetta? Hmm. Hmm. Probably would near Dull. <laughs> would they be in relative proximity to their owners? Probably, yeah. Vendetta or... would be, yes. Cool. I need wisdom saves from both of them. As well as saves for our three bad guys. Right. Um, so the uh, main uh, guy saves with a dirty 20. Listen, uh, my girl is so wise. The other two failed. Um, and so they will move there and there. Is it? You see, they. They like bump against the portal as they scurry to move, and it's almost like bumping against um, like a wall that reverberates a little bit. You imagine this portal might only be one way. Uh, they cannot get back out through the portal. Okay, hey. and the familiars, what did they get? The thing what? is, is this gonna hurt? It's not gonna hurt. They uh, just run away, basically. They cannot oh, okay. approach Spark, and they need to run away from him. Oh, okay. Uh, well, she got an at one. <laughs> so they're All right, both he gonna... gets taken over by Dendar, um, and then goes oh, oh, rampage. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Just the snake mongoose, the unstoppable yeah. entity. So uh, both of oh, yours, I don't, now need to yeah. use their turns to move away from Spark. Wait, wait. Um, what was the save? Because I got like fourteen. <sighs> Yep, so Vendetta so and Val, um, you know, quickly scurry away, scurry and fly away from you down the hallway. Uh, and you're not really sure why, as uh, Spark hasn't used this before, and you are you don't know that it's him causing it. But your familiars flee. Yep, so Spark's gonna basically see the two that mo use their reactions to move away. He's like, don't hit those two until they're left! And that's his turn. All right. Um, so it is their turn now. What do those two... Do they get to make a save on their turn again? Or is it just till they hit get hit? I think it's just till they get hit. Let me double check the ruling of the turned effect. Okay. You'd think I'd have this <laughs> memorized, but the stress has made me forget when I looked this up the other night. 82. What's called Turn Faithless? Yes, it... Ah, uh, here we 
go. Turn faithless. A turn creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can. Cannot willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. Also, can't take reaction for action. Can only dash to escape. If there's nowhere to move, it can use the dodge action. Uh, it doesn't specify making new saves. I guess it's just until it gets smacked again. All right. Um, so that uh, they move away, and at the top of the round, you all see as another one of these small creatures appears through the portal, followed by a hulking orange, uh, like maw. Nope, orange claw. That's the <laughs> word. Like clawed hand that comes through the portal. Uh, and is starting to make its way through the portal. Uh, that okay. is the top of the round. Um, as, okay, we gotta do something about the portal. Uh, as Anatole comes to his turn, he looks up um, and he kind of uh, looks around at Ravenguard at the situation uh, and goes, we need to get that portal closed. Throw radiant force something at it. We need to close this portal or we're not gonna last. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. He has none of those, so he is just going to make an attack at it. Um, no, he's going to use his action to see if he can figure out how to get the helmet off of Raven Guard. No, he cannot with a two. Um, he is inspecting the helmet uh, and spends most of his turn um, trying to figure out this helmet. Well, there's just a giant alien alienoid creature, like, dripping acid down onto his shoulders. Um, that is Anatoly's turn. It is now the creature here. <laughs> Alright, and... Can you all see that? How bright is that? What? Hmm. Let me change that then. Sorry, was it something here or something in the roll 20? In roll 20. Nope, I saw nothing. How about now? Nope, still mm -hmm. the same battle map. Mm -hmm. Interesting, okay. Um... Oops, where'd my D4 go? Why oh, I'm gonna find- is that the one that's always lost the most, right? Alright, how about now? <laughs> no? Should we try refreshing? I was just about and... to ask that. Oh no, I think the D4 fell under the sofa. Oh, yeah, oh, I, I can, can see that, that okay. now. Oh uh, god. So, uh, as it's this creature's turn, he's going to use his action to cast Darkness. Um, and then make a claw attack at Eris. Uh, uh, as you all I see did. kind of this inky blackness just explode out from uh, from where this creature was. Oh, Minnie! Um, Pip and Nefira, you have lost sight now of Spark, Eris, the Anatole, the General, or the, the Duke, and both of the... Uh, and two of the three creatures, um, including one that you had just seen step through the portal. Uh, it is not a good, good time there. Oh, Asking for those using a bingo board. Yes, I did get up to let a cat in, <laughs> so you can mark that spot. Right. I just did. <laughs> so I the oh, attack many. against uh, Eris is at advantage because... Oh, good, it has blind sight. Which is cool, because I rolled a one. <laughs> so... <laughs> and, um... A 24. Mm. Was that it? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I was flipping through all my tabs, because I, I got too many things up. to do. Yeah, uh, yes, that hits. Alright. Uh, that's five uh, piercing damage uh, plus two 
acid damage. Um, as Eris, you out of nowhere feel these claws slash into you. Um, and he is going to move. He's gonna move? Mm -hmm. Do we get a tax of opportunity even at, at disadvantage? disadvantage? For Spark, um, Anatole, and Eris. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, oh, wait, we all get maybe a tax not, of Maybe not Eris. Yeah, uh, I gotta figure out where my, he's moving. My, my zone, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> that might... Oh wait, that's still gonna hit his shoot hit mod. He will, he will move. Uh, oh. Eris, you also get one. All right, so uh, Spark rolled a 21 total. 21, yep, that hits. Okay, let me just see if he's going to use his good old reliable form of nature kiss, or if he's going to try a different one. Uh, bu -bu -bu. No, he's gonna keep on using Dusty Bowl, so can I get a DC 13 con save to see if he's blinded? Blinded in the darkness? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he saves. Okay, cool. It's still a D6 and a D8 bludgeoning damage. Alright. Uh, oh my goodness. Why does the D8 keep rolling so well? Uh, so that's plus what? Plus that. Man? Uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage total. Does he need to make a concentration check for darkness? He does. Unfortunately, the DC is 10, but uh, hey. Yeah. Uh, he saves with a 10. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh, but on it and Anatole misses uh, at disadvantage. Eris. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I was thinking about what I was gonna do. So I'm. We're, I'm at disadvantage too, right? Yes. Okay. So I was going to attack with green flame blade because I can make a spell attack uh, as an attack of opportunity. Do you I have think. War Yeah, I have Warcaster. Oh, cool. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. I need to let the cat out. Um, so. <laughs> let me just get what that is to hit. That is 13 to hit. Misses. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I, I've missed. Uh, so yeah, only Spark is able to wildly swing and connect with kind of the back leg of this creature as it goes. However, you do have a general sense of where the creature might be. Eris, you don't. You've been in darkness yeah. the entire time. The darkness has not shifted around you. Spark, you finally come out of the darkness. Um, and Pip and Nefira from back where your, uh, your seats at, at the show, um, you see this darkness move kind of and start to envelop the wall, which is concerning because uh, that is where the portal is. You can mm -hmm. no longer see it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you do generally have an idea of where it is because you have seen it before. So um, you could at least attempt to target it. It still would be at disadvantage. But that is... Mad. You took Sacred <laughs> Flame off the board for Spark. It <laughs> specifies he needs to see its target. Mm -hmm. On Did everyone hear... Sacred Flame I mean, imagine... Uh, oh. For a creature, too. It says oh, creature. True. Yeah. You could Did smack everyone... it with a... Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean to keep talking over you. <laughs> no, I was going to say, you can do like a... Um, smite. Uh, smite. You could go smite the portal if you would like. But uh, yeah. No, what were you going to say? I was going to ask if everyone... Like, I imagine Eris definitely cried out when she got attacked. So everyone knows that she... Probably knows that she got hurt. You okay? Probably, yeah. Yeah, because uh, it was a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, in darkness. In darkness. Of, That's pretty spooky. Speaking of, um, did you... I don't remember if you rolled concentration for protecting against Oh, anybody. shoot! You're right! I do have to do DC's that. Let me 10, go take care of that. got an advantage. So hopefully the dice don't continue to choose bad stuff for the gremlins. And then um, that's the end of my turn, so Pip, Nefira on deck. I got a natural 20 on the hey. concentration check <laughs> with advantage, so... There you go. <laughs> We're good. Like, not to like be rulesy against myself, but <laughs> listen, Look, if you really gotta be honest. Be rulesy, you know? What? <laughs> What'd you say? Listen, there have been equal times where um, I've been like, oh hey, no, this mechanic's bad for us actually, but gotta be honest. <laughs> um, okay. So Seeds of Darkness move. Um is gonna 
He had a pretty general idea of where everybody was, right? Um, you do not know if Eris moved. Uh, yeah, because I, I was gonna you... call out and ask her if she had moved, actually. Yeah, because <laughs> you you can't tell that. Um, and, but you could yeah, and you could see we're... everyone. Well, if you moved up, you could see everyone else. You're a little far <laughs> from there. You can't really. Yeah, tell around, like, that's what I was but... gonna. That's what that's what my plan was. Mm -hmm. Um, I was gonna call out to Eris, and be like, Eris, have you moved yet? Any at all? Can, can I respond? You can. It's quick enough. Yeah. I, the... I don't- I don't think so! Okay, stay <laughs> right valid. there! <laughs> um, Eris is like, did I move? Oh no, my brain! <laughs> you know, like, whenever you're at the beach and you think it, you've been in one spot and then you mm -hmm. look and it's so far away. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, especially and... since she was swinging her sword around trying to attack the thing. Yeah. The tides, man. <laughs> the tides of blood in this pool of water. <laughs> um, so move here. Um, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20. That's so, that's, I, I'm, I've got enough range. It's fine. Yeah. Um, magic missile. Second level. Um. You have to see the target. I have to see the target? Yep, it's the... Yes, I, I do. I do. Mm-hmm. You're right. Remember that thing I just mentioned where <laughs> even when it's against us? Mm-hmm. What else do I have? What else do I have? You have Eldritch Blast. I do have Eldritch Blast. Just within range. Okay, let's go. Um, it I have forgot Eldritch Blast. Huh? It will be at disadvantage because it, okay. it, you're attacking something in darkness or through that's, the darkness, but that's okay. You're plus nine, <laughs> or no, actually, this one's probably less, but oh, see, the thing is, on one dice, uh, I rolled a 19, but <laughs> the other one, I got a three. Mm -hmm. Um, so three plus uh, three plus five is eight because. Yeah. Is what? Eight. Eight. Um, it, uh, kind of, at the last second, you go, and you kind of are, like, second-guessing where Eris may or may not be, and you get anxious and decide to throw it wide to make sure that you do not hit Eris with, uh, your new fancy snake spells. Um, yeah, you have a second um, one of those, because Eldritch Blast is weird. So I you do. have a second try. Well, you're so right. <laughs> a 12 and another 3. Nice. So, same uh, situation. so throw, you throw both of them wide. Uh, Eris, you so feel... so sure uh, about that first one. I was like, okay, great. You feel some <laughs> wind totally go did. by you, but you can't see in this darkness of what just went by you. Um, you probably have an idea, though. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, yeah, she definitely makes a surprise. She definitely <laughs> makes a surprise noise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else, Pip, on your turn? <laughs> what else can he do? Let's see. Um, I probably couldn't do that. Um, I I don't think I can do anything really over there. Like, what else could I do? Push full somebody, or move. Yeah, and you... Um, do you need the visual to see Eris? Uh, to for move what? Them, if you want to move Eris. Oh, that's what I was... Oh, yeah, so, Eris would be a Because it's, a, tele it's a telepathic thing, so... I don't know if you yeah. have to see them. You might, though. Yeah, that's why I was like, hmm, I probably couldn't do that. Um, but let me see if I can find it. Um, it's in actions. Oh, so sorry, I'm just looking at the crawl in front of my face, and I'm like, <laughs> who needs Banes? You can just condense it all into one crawl. <laughs> right? Uh, no, you have to be able to see them. Alright. So, uh, I'm assuming that's Pip's turn? So close, though. <laughs> yes. Alright, Nefira is up, Eris on deck. <sighs> oh... Um, this encounter is tough. Nefira cannot get sneak attack <laughs> ever. Yep. Unless you so want to go fun. attack one of the ones that uh, is currently feared. Mm-hmm. This is bad. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it was a 
about to say, they're like, oh, well, I know where one of them is. <laughs> it should hopefully still be in that corner. I can just shoot for that corner. But... Oh, the ones that Spark said, hey, don't hit. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna listen to Spark, or are you gonna don't kill hit. things, Nefira? What are you gonna True. do? <laughs> True. That is the question. What's more in character for Nefira? Her killer uh... instinct? And you can see past enough to see the one cowering in this far corner. Um, okay. You're not entirely sure what the one do is doing in that darkness. I, mm. I don't know what to do. What's your gut tell you? Yeah, do something. Bye, what's your gut tell you? <laughs> Sneak into the darkness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I don't have dark vision, and you it, cannot it, see it that would dark darkness. darkness. Yeah. You need mm. you need like one of two things that none of us have to see through magical darkness. Basically, you need to be a warlock patron. <laughs> Or you can be a shadow sorcerer. Mm, true. Alright, what are you doing, uh, Nefira? Uh, my, my gut split, is telling me... Split decision, split second decision. This is this is all happening in six seconds. I'm gonna sneak into the darkness. Alright, go on into the darkness. I don't... <sighs> Listen, How do far? dumb things confidently. <laughs> <laughs> that Pip's motto. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Follow Pitt's example. Let's go. Or you're gonna forfeit your turn oh if God. you don't do something. Go. I was counting. Oh, I was you're counting. in it. <laughs> Alright, okay. uh, Nefira, you dive into uh, this darkness, and as soon as you get that 10 feet in, you're like, fuck, this might have been a bad idea, as you suddenly start to kind of lose your bearing, as you can't even see your feet below you. Um, and you can feel the water kind of weirdly swishing around, and it's making it kind of like an uneasy, uh, like, rocking sensation as your balance is all off. Um, and you quickly realize, uh, you don't know where anything is in here. Um, so, yeah. What is Nefira doing other than sneaking in? You could yell, you could try to echolocate, you could try to figure out where <laughs> I, where someone else is in re relation, that's about as much as you could do. I, I could. Hmm. Throw some daggers at this guy. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Uh... I want to. I really want to, but like... So what? <laughs> I can't see the dude, I don't know if he's there. The only one you might know that's still there is the is the, is the, the one in the, the bear. Yeah, so you yeah. could attempt to attack and that one. I was one. told not to. Well, what are you doing? You ten seconds, or we're moving on. <sighs> ah, you okay. can hold um, an attack if you want to. Can I do that? Can I? Can, can I? Yeah, uh, you can hold okay. a. Is it going to be a bow attack or a knife attack? Because if it's a knife, it's is it going to be a melee or a ranged? Attack. What are you gonna hold? Um, I was going to use my magic dagger, but then it will have to come near you, or you will have to throw it. One of the two. I don't want to throw my magic dagger. Okay, um... then. <laughs> <laughs> Not throwing that. It's, it's too valuable. Um, I the range won't do anything, so. I... Non-magical dagger. Sorry. It is. All right. So you're waiting to until you maybe this magical darkness gets lifted and you can see something to throw your dagger. Um. All right. That is Nefira's turn. Eris is up. Lulu on deck. Okay. So you heard someone girl... else just come splish splash into the water with you. Uh, <laughs> you hope it's an ally, but you're not sure. You just know the general direction yeah. of. What is south? We'll okay. Say. Um, my girl Vesper. She is over back by Lulu and Pip. 
Okay. Does she have an idea of where I where I was? Ooh. Um yes. Okay, cool. Um I'm going to have Vesper cuz she's got 60 feet of flying. I'm going to be talking with her. I'm going to be like, "Okay, call in air um, support." <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, talking about powers, all right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask her, I like, cause I, I, I'm not gonna be able to tell where I am based off of like what she tells me. Um, but I'm gonna have her fly over to me and see if she could tell me how far she flew into the darkness to get to me. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, so... Vesper flies it to you and basically relays that if you go, um, one direction back towards, uh. Mm -hmm like where you had come from or yeah she gets okay option. you will be out of the darkness okay cool second thing is do i have an approximate based off of that information and like if i did a little step back quick would i have an idea of where the portal was um if you moved out you would realize where the portal is you all okay. saw the, yeah. the room is not that big and it's kind of pretty obviously in the center-ish of the, the wall um, of the far side. Yeah. So. so she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna step out quick. And you're, you're all aware and that the portal is right here, right? Mm -hmm. You're yeah, all aware yeah, that? Yeah. This, this. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, Eric, uh, Spark, you turn and just see materializing out of darkness is Eris with a hawk. Very much like an Assassin's Creed kind of shit. <laughs> also, uh, Mads, while we're waiting a beat, Spark could not have used nature's kiss with the attack of opportunity because of reaction stuff. Mm. So heal the enemy hate eight points. Eight. Okay. Um, Thank so Eris is going to. Well, listen, I was weighing it, but it's like, <laughs> nope, my integrity won't allow this. Fair. Is there a difference? Well, will I be at disadvantage either way if I try to like throw something at the portal if I'm in the darkness versus not in the darkness? Uh, there is no, uh, difference because, okay. uh, it's, it's covered by the darkness. You know what? I'm just gonna walk right up to the portal. I'm not even gonna try to throw it. I'm just gonna take the flask of holy water that I have. I'm oh. gonna smash it into the portal and see if that'll close it. Okay, give me a... Are you, are you, like, basically punching it into the portal so an unarmed yeah, strike? Yeah, I guess. All right, give yeah, me that I'm trying to break, I break the holy water onto the portal. Okay, very cool. Uh, is that at disadvantage? Or Chan doesn't like that. <laughs> is that at disadvantage still? Yes. Um, okay. Cool beans. As you're still kind of unable to see. This might have went better if I threw it. <laughs> Because then it would have been dexterity, but that's okay. Do you want to like, throw it? You're technically yeah. not with Yeah, yeah, I'll throw. Feet. Okay, yeah, then I'll throw it if okay. I'm, if I, I mean, I still, I get disadvantage either way. Yeah. So if I throw it, then I add my, it's my, wait, is it dexterity and proficiency if I threw it? I would assume or, so. Yeah, because it, there's nothing on here that says thrown um, random I guess things. thrown, what is, what was the alchemist fire? Did that have a thing? Oh. Let's say how you could how That's you could. A, I don't think so. There's an action. Um, mm -hmm. I think everybody's proficient at chucking stuff. <laughs> yeah. Feels like everyone's proficient in punching. Okay, cool. So that's the 13. Uh you hear the um flask kind of you undershot it and it kind of crash against oh, the ground. Oh crap. Um, as it starts to swirl into the water of that's got this blood and demon ichor in it. Uh, and it's making, uh, well, you can't see it, but I'll give you the narrative that it looks interesting. Um, but I'm yeah. I'm sure it does. You're um, not sure if you hit it or not. Um, there, there's no change in the portal from what you can tell. Well, wouldn't if you're a cool beads. Um, Yeah, I'm going to stand in front of this portal with my shield out <laughs> and I'll take whatever comes. All right. <laughs> Eris, yeah. if the portal is still open, please step to the side. I'm going to try to smack it. <laughs> Fine, I'll step to the side. <laughs> All right. I also, picked a random um, direction to step to the side, too, so it is a coincidence that I am closer to that guy. <laughs> yeah. 
You're gonna have a I real just fun picked, time if that dark just, drops. <laughs> I just picked. Uh, well, you know, I didn't accidentally give myself an attack of opportunity, so you know. Yeah. All right. Um, also, um, uh, the alchemist fire is a ranged attack. I'm treating it as an improvised weapon. Mm. Good to so know. All right, um, so that is Eris. Lulu is up. Spark on deck. Lulu's gonna swing by and look at the helmet. All right, Lulu, come on by. <laughs> Investigation check? Uh, yes. All right, so just an intelligence check from Marissa, and she does not have a specified investigate. Nope, no specified investigation stat. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How's a 22 treat you? Um... As Lulu is looking at this helmet, uh, she, uh... Well, thank you for moving her, Mads. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, turns to you, Spark, or I guess kind of is in your head, and says, The helmet and portal are linked. We can't get this helmet off until that portal is closed. Or it might kill them. Uh Spark's gonna look over, yell out, Close the portal and the helmet will come off! We're trying! <laughs> the portal's not closed! <laughs> no, no, he's saying- He's yeah. basically trying to give people yeah. the priority list. I, I love that. No, Eris is- Eris thought she like, closed what? it. <laughs> oh, I misinterpreted too, sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, as everyone has, uh, gotten there, um, that is Lulu Spark, your turn. Arson's gonna run forward. Oh, oops, on the ruler. He's just gonna you, run forward until he smacks the it. portal. Boom. <laughs> oh, good. Here. <laughs> uh, first attack at disadvantage. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What? I always. It really stinks how much <laughs> stress makes you forget math. Uh, does a 15 hit? A 15 does hit. Alright. Wait, Matt. I just realized I added my modifier wrong for my flask one. How close was I? I should have been you a were, 14. You, you have a, a 13. 13. Yeah, uh, you, needed a fi you need a 15. A 15 okay, the, okay. Uh, I'm sorry about yeah. that. I'm getting no, used to my new dex modifier. <laughs> <laughs> He still has the first level spell slot. Uh, no, he's actually gonna try going high. Uh, Mad, should I even bother rolling the mace damage, or he's dumping a level two divine smite into this? Uh, the if it if, if the mace damage does not do radiant damage itself or force damage, it will not count. To anything, so I'm not gonna roll that then. Yeah. So let me just see how many d8s he's using. You think? Oh wait, divine smite's probably high up here for class features. Again, stuff you think I'd memorize, but oh hey, stress. <laughs> <sighs> You know, oncoming oh. demon horde. I don't know what you could have possibly be stressed about right now. Oh my goodness, I'm just hard. scrolling over this, aren't I? Oh my. It's probably what three d eight or two d eight at this level. It's pro it's at least two d eight, I would imagine. I think but it starts at two d eight. I can also maybe look. Scale was. Oh, here's divine smite. Uh, starts at two d eight, gets an extra d eight for upcasting. Is this portal technically classified as fiendish? You know, I would say a portal to the abyss is quite fiendish. I, I would All say. All right. There's so... also a giant arm coming through it that belongs to a, a demon. So, you know, that too. All right. So, 4d8 radiant damage. Okay. Okay. That's a good first round. Let me just start typing this somewhere. I swear, I <laughs> am good at this stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, that's the first half of his damage. Second half, not as good. 19 points of radiant damage total. Uh, 
Spark, as you kind of run up and bump into this wall and take a step back, your hand brushes to the side and you feel that giant demonic arm uh, and you crack into the portal um, and you hear it splinter nearly completely. Um, it has one hit point left. <laughs> Not to be kidding me. Uh, you, you're so sure that uh, you almost had it, um, but you do... Uh, see he that, has extra attack. That, that the it splinters and the demonic arm gets chopped in half, and you hear it fall into the water below uh, as yeah. that part of the portal has splintered. This is do weighing. <laughs> Would Spark finish it off at the cost of his second to last spell slot? Yeah, he would. You know, assuming he hits. Yeah. All right, that's really good. That's even better. So, uh, 21 to hit. Yeah. All right. You do not Last... need to roll. Yeah, um... he's going to use a first level spell slot. None of y'all go down, by the way. <laughs> the battle's only just begun. You only closed the portal. That's it. This is only round two, guys. <laughs> it's, only... it's not even... The... It's, yeah, it's this almost halfway round through two. round two. Uh, but yeah, Spark, you swing back and crack into the portal and you hear it splinter. Um, you imagine if you could see, you would see it do something, uh, but you're just in complete darkness, uh, and that... Man, that sounds magical. <laughs> yeah, uh, demonic magic, but something magical. Um, is magic. Uh, anything else from Spark? Uh, how much movement did he use? Uh, he would have no idea where to go, so he's just gonna kind of stand here and be like, Okay, now what? All right. So that is going to be Spark's turn. It is now my turn, and I only have this guy who can do anything. So. Oh, uh, Mad's just another thing that's also kind of fun about the whole all or nothing of channel divinity for paladins. It's not concentration. That's true. I know. Uh, so, um, this creature, I need to edit it. We're gonna be using these, these bitches today. All right. I guess sort of other question for the people near the Grand Duke. Does something visibly change about him when the portal shatters? Um, Maybe. You're not sure. <laughs> and it is not their turns. Uh, so, uh, as this creature, which is can't really see you, uh, it also is affected by the darkness, but um, it is going to release a... It's called Fark, basically. It's going to release a fetid cloud, and I need constitution saving throws from Eris and Spark. Hmm, that's probably not gonna make it. Uh, what's his con save mod? Don't die by bear fart, please. <laughs> uh, a good old nine. Fails. Eris got a 24. Succe succeeds. Spark, you are considered poisoned uh, oh. until the start of your next turn. While poisoned in this way, you can take either an action or a bonus action, not both, and you can't take I... reactions. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me double check something because it is not a disease. But that I think what there is something are immune to. Oh, okay. Okay. If I'm... Oh, did you already pre-poison him? It is considered poison. That is the condition uh, from that failed con save. All right. Sorry. Yes. Continue. I'm just. Thought I saw so something yeah, out. you cannot take an action or a bonus action um, until the start of your next turn, which is kind of a stupid way to word it because you can't anyway. Uh, you're, I guess, yeah. but oh, so he just has his reaction until he has no the start reaction next turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. basically. Um. So it is going to yeah, meander okay. away from spark that moves it out and it is going to attack eris with its claws and its bite so first one 
Wow. The misses. These are real strong, guys. They're real powerful. Uh, second one is a uh, 19 to hit. Yeah, that misses. All right, yeah. Uh, as it goes to bite and claw at you, um, Eris, you're in complete darkness, and it is just, like, your uh, adrenaline and skill as you mm -hmm. turn and get your shield, your little buckler shield up in time. Um, I've got spidey senses. Yeah, you got those, fire those, fire, fire, those fire genasi <laughs> senses. Um, <laughs> all right, that is this creature's turn. The other two cannot do anything. Top of the round, portal is closed. Anatole oh, no. is there. Um, he is concerned. <laughs> um, cause that creature is going to be, he's going to step, kind of hop the railing and step in front of, uh, Raven Guard, who is still, uh, on the ground clutching this helmet. And he is going to... He's gonna ready his action to throw his sword. <laughs> is it? Yep, I think so. I think he's gonna throw his sword. Or would he use fire? He is going to... What's the produce flame, uh, Tate? What is the, uh, like, damage from that? Um... It depends on, like, your level, uh, but it uses D8s, so I don't know what you would consider. What are What is it, yours? I can tell you. Mine's 2D8. 2D8. So his is probably, like, double that. Uh, so then he will hold his, pro his produce flame to throw it when he sees, if he sees, um, the demon in the darkness. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, that might be a good episode title. <laughs> that honestly, Demon in the Darkness is uh is definitely up there. All right. That is um Anatoly's turn. It is now this creature's turn. Man, whatever was coming through probably has a vendetta against Spark now. <laughs> if yeah, it it's uh, has an idea of what happened. <laughs> Just a armless demon, one armed demon. All right. It just needs to die in Avernus, and it will get it back. One armed demon is my band name. How do you know? <laughs> uh, all right, it is going a to sentence. Let's see. actually. Would they be aware if... Would that be a thing that fiends would do to just, like, die on another plane when their body gets somewhat roughed up being like, oh, I'll regenerate. <laughs> Maybe. Um, alright, he's going to step up and attack Spark. Um... Stench. At advantage, and, uh, does poison give you any other, uh, Disadvantages? I don't know. Oh, I think it's just disadvantages on him trying stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, 23 to hit with the first Yeah, that ball. hits! And... That one... Uh, 19 to hit with the second claw. That one Miss! Misses. All right. <laughs> uh, so that is going to be... Bad time bears for Spark. <laughs> um... Five slashing damage plus two uh, acid damage. As you feel this claw uh, dig into you, and you just manage to wheel around and get your shield up before the second attack. Hey, there you are. Um, you can't take reactions. It's going to move away. Um, get back here. this way. Does Spark yep. hear the general direction it moved? You do. You hear it kind of rush up. It's a good thing y'all are fighting in water. You hear it kind of slink up in this water, slash at you, and then slink back, taking the darkness uh, with it. Um, Pip, you're just seeing this darkness, like, <laughs> move and engulf some enemies and then take other enemies. Uh, it's It's unsettling, to say the least. That is Question. going to be... Yes. 
Who is? Because the demon that is, or devil, or whatever that is, that is right in front of Nefira now. Can I use my held action? Um. Would, would I know what's there? Would I have heard it moving you, in the water? To... You held your action to specifically till you saw it. You have not seen it. Held actions have to be. That's you have to specify so like it's kind really of aggressively. The whole, it's kind of the whole thing that happened last game where Sparks' okay. condition didn't fully happen. So oh, that's annoying. I yeah, didn't... it has to be. It has to be like to the T. Exact like Anatole's is until he sees, physically sees the target. Okay. Because, yeah. Um, I don't remember saying specifically. See, well, but... you weren't saying much of okay. anything, so I had to I was. move us I, I just asked if I could hold my action. Just yeah, but you have to. That. You have to specify exactly what you're holding. Okay, I'll try to remember uh, that next time. Yeah. Never mind then. All right. Um, that is this creature's turn. Pip, you're up. Nefira on deck. Mm, okay. Um. Well, what am I gonna do? Um. <laughs> Just start blasting into the dark. I know, start blasting? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that'll go uh, fine. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I can I can just blast straight in front of me where yeah. the creature was. That's where the creature is. That's what you heard. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But there is an fear in the way, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> oh no. Um portal's closed. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, you would know that the portal is closed I'm, from... I'm sure it made a noise. From the arcane yeah. noise it made arcane... and spark sounding like, oh, I got a good hit. Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, listing uh, things that I was gonna do, but no longer can do because of these reasons. <laughs> um, portal's closed, number one. Um... Mm... You can see three, um... This one. Oh, I can. Yeah, okay. he is not in uh, darkness. And I'm sure he's not visibly cowering like he the other not, two. No. Hmm. Mads, how much did that uh, kneecap this encounter, by the way? Um, a little bit. I but you all would have been extremely screwed if both of their uh, poisoned clouds went off at the start, and you were having only an action or bonus action, no reactions to him cast it. Like, it, it was probably a good thing you did that. <laughs> yep, and also, Mads, this fits kind of potentially a consequence for the thing we chatted about. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Oh, so yes, I did get the Pout in a Monk thing conflated, so thank you for mm -hmm. checking me on that as I was going through the books. I was like, also, books. Monks have to be, like, level 11 to be unable to be poisoned or something pretty high. Yeah. All right, Pip, what are you doing? Let's, 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 let's blast him. I was like, should I use, um, should I try Lightning Lure? But, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, so I started blasting. <laughs> yeah. I start blasting. All right, go for it. That is at it. a. It's just a straight roll. Just a straight roll. Let's go. Um, got an eighteen and a thirteen for the two of them. Uh, the eighteen yeah. hits. Are you at? Did you add anything to the thirteen? I haven't. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, so that is um. Also 18. 23 and 18. 23 and 18, both hit. Go ahead and roll me that damage. Let's go. Um, where'd you, where'd you, why did I, why did I, why did I, why did I? Um, you okay, Morgan? <laughs> Morgan's doing great. <laughs> Next, question. Next question. Um, <laughs> D10. Um, 5 and 7. So 13. 13 points of damage. How do you want to do this? Oh, God. No. I wasn't um, lying when I was like, they're not, they're, they're fucking squishy. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, um, that means this one's durable. <laughs> I was here. Step up. Um, get this guy in my sight. I'm like, aha. Blast him. <laughs> um, All right. Golden black magic. Come straight to this guy. Two pins of it. Bam, bam. Nice. Uh, you reach your hand out, uh, send these two bolts, and it just pulverizes them. Uh, 
Cool. Eris, the air smells better. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> you sense uh, this this dissipation of uh, whatever hmm. awful, like noxious gas. Um, that vibe was... <laughs> gone. <laughs> yeah, that was happening. All right, very nice. Also, Anything else? Um, uh, nope. Um, also, one more until I'm double digits. So <laughs> look at you. Look at you, Pip. <laughs> Catching up. <laughs> You know, well, we shouldn't be pack. giving Pip reinforcement for <laughs> making a deal with an evil god to get more kills. Look, it seemed to have worked, you know? What can we say? Eldritch Blast coming in clutch. It honestly is such a clutch spell. <laughs> Alright. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm good. Let's go. That's Pip. Alright. Uh, Nefira, you are up. Eris on deck. Okay. Um, in that case, I will have heard this demon, like, marching up in front of me, right? Because we're, like, we're in water. Uh, you will have, you would have heard it leave and come back, yes. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to attack it with my magic dagger this time. Alright, are you moving up? That. Um, I'm already, like, at least on my roll 20, it looks like it's directly in front of me. No, on ours, you have a space between. Oh, okay. There. <laughs> now it's... now I'm on top of it. Oh, weird. No, you're in front of it for me, but yeah, yeah okay. In front for the rest um... of us. That's why when okay. you were like five feet away, I was like, no, you can't do anything because it, it looked like you were five feet away. Yeah, it's like the square, like right and directly in front. Okay, that's what it looked like to me. Um, oh, is that where you and Lulu were on the same space earlier? No, that was- oh, that, no, that you happened. and Lulu were on the same space. No. No, it was you at- maybe you should refresh your roll 20. I should, because earlier Lulu yeah. was on no, top Lulu of- No, Lulu was on top of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, look, it's on top of Pip for me. Oh no. You got your peanut butter <laughs> and my <laughs> chocolate! <laughs> okay, that looks better. I, I will say the AC now. is increased because you are attacking oh. through darkness. You well, still have annoying. no idea exactly where it is within that range around you. Fun. Darkness right. is an all darkness is a evil spell if you do not have light to counteract it, which someone does on their mm. mace. You know, <laughs> you know he's had higher priorities. But uh so question <laughs> So that means I'm doing this at disadvantage? You're doing it at disadvantage and the AC is higher. Okay. I If I have advantage but I'm doing it at disadvantage, does that mean I just do a straight roll? Or Why, why would you have advantage? I have advantage on... Wait, no. Just, oh, it's just initiative. initiative. Rolls. Yeah. Okay, never and mind. there's no allies near you. <laughs> um, you are it's very like much a in a little one. corner by yourself. So yeah, no. Sometimes are... I get this mixed up. Okay. Yeah. So you're just you're at disadvantage. Fun. Okay. Did you roll two? Did you roll two? <laughs> roll the two. Hey! Did you roll the fifteen. So uh, right. mark that on your bingo board. <laughs> I have a plus seven. Yeah, I have bingo. a plus seven. Yeah, that's so, nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> um. You, Does you that help? <laughs> no, you hear him come back and you rush up and you're like, I think it's in this general area. And you have only kind of seen this creature from a distance and you misjudge just how like lanky and tall it is. And you go to swipe and you realize you're swiping like in between its legs as it is just towering over you. And you're like, oh, fuck, <laughs> this is going to go well. <laughs> um, all right. Anything else, Nefira? That's all I can do. Isn't it? Well, can I, I just mean, you engage? Can, you could disengage and flee in any direction that's not forward. But he, uh, yeah, so. And neither one of them will get attacks against you. Cool. I'm trying to think if that's something the fear would do. You could take the dodge as well, which gives you advantage on um, your... It gives me disadvantage to attack you, and if I have advantage, okay. it evens out, so it would just be a straight roll. I shall dodge. Alright, so yeah, you're gonna have the dodge. 
um, as your bonus action. And that is Nefir's turn. Um, Eris, you're up. Lulu on deck. Okay, cool. So do, do I get the idea that the guy next to me is dead? Uh, y- yes, okay, you do. Great. Um, and then... Or he based moved. Off one of the two. Okay. He's no longer near you. <laughs> You're sure okay. of that. All right, I'm gonna... Yeah, because I don't know where I am in the darkness. Does the darkness reach up to the ceiling? Uh, it is a dome of 25 feet all the way uh-huh. around. So, yes, the ceilings are okay. not that... It's like a regular room size. Okay. Cool. Um, cause I want Vesper to go help me figure out where I am. And I don't, Air I support. guess I just roll a D4 to decide which direction she goes in. Cause you know, yeah, make a, dark, wa- so. start one is maybe, directly wait. above you. No, I need to, cause she could, she could go diagonal. So maybe I'll just roll a D8. That's nine Spirit. spots, isn't it? Eh. Then it's I'll roll a D10. Eight. I'll roll a D10. No, it's eight. eight. It's no, eight. Roll, yeah. roll a D8, start right north of you as one and go clockwise. Yeah, all right, seven. So she's gonna fly out and I guess bump into I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What? One, um, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So she's, Straight yeah, into she's gonna, Anatole. Yeah. Best possibility. <laughs> she's gonna fly out and basically tell me uh, where I am in mm-hmm. reference to the edge of the darkness. Um, and I guess she'll tell me too that the guy next to me is dead. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so now that I know where the darkness is, Based off of the sounds, do I have the same idea where the big one is, or no? Generally, you know it's like down below you, yeah. but there are there is Spark and Nefira making noise yeah. over there, and I would say even though the uh, one like this bear is kind of cowering, it's also fucking making noise because it's, um, yeah, yeah, frightened. Okay. Um, I know Spark told us not to attack anyone, <laughs> but I want to be productive, so All I'm right. gonna attack number two. Nice. <laughs> Does uh, he I, get I advantage it because it's turned? No. Uh, if Frightened Probably gives you not. advantage, but I think only you would maybe get. Yeah, since it's only Frightened to Spark. And I'm, I'm gonna. And it's only while the source of its fear is it within its line of sight. And guess where you are not? Oh, <laughs> well, you are not within its line of sight, uh, as you are hidden from its. Good thing I so. decided to attack it then, because it could have yeah. attacked someone else. <laughs> All right, yeah, you know, this is the time. This is the time to choose violence. <laughs> it's always. Um, I'm yeah. I'm gonna make two attacks against it because I don't know if they have this. That is a fair point, system. Mads. We forgot yeah. about the whole oh. line of sight condition. Oh. That's 13. Uh, 13 hits. Yay! Good, good, good. Hopefully these things take full damage from silver. I know, that's what I'm hoping to. Uh, ooh, that was good. 13 points of damage. 13? Yeah. Yeah, that does it. Uh, wait. Nope, it doesn't do it. Just kidding. Wait, how much did you do, Morgan? Did you do 13 or 15? I did 13. I did 13. I wrote I 15, 15, but all right, 13. Um, Sky Revive. Take away the kill. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, what's an extra two points? Um, I'll give it to the bad guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you okay. swipe, you, uh, how do you want to do this? Yeah, I think she just, like, stabs it in the chest, and then it goes down, and she's like, oh. <laughs> okay, I guess. Nice. <laughs> she was expecting a bit more of a fight. <laughs> And, oh, well, n- yeah, so I used my action. I'm not going to use my bonus action for anything, so my turn. Oh, I guess I could move. Um, nah, I, I'm just going to say, I don't know where the other guy is, so. Um, yeah. I'll just stay. All right. Where I am. Um, that is Eris' uh, turn. Lulu, spark on deck. Lulu's just gonna kind of vibe by Anatoly and take the dodge action. Yeah, fair. She can't do much of anything. She's not flying into that darkness. <laughs> nope. Um, she said, I'm a creature of light, but I cannot cast light. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that's right, her turn. Fun. So, 
Spark's gonna move up until he bumps into the creatures like, uh. And just taking the hint from his gut, he's gonna just hold the mace up and be like, Hopefully this is strong enough and cast light through the mace. Uh, Alright, so there is... Um, what level spell is your light spell? It's a cantrip. It, is it the... It's through the mace. But is it a cantrip? Are you sure? Or is it casting light? Because, like, what is the is light? Light, light is, is a cantrip. A cantrip? Which is why Stu did not think it would work. It will not work. Because I thought light was... I was thinking of daylight. <laughs> which so, is a third level spell. Um, well... But that is... You we'll are say allowed that's not room. a... I will say that is not your, like, action to do or anything. I will say Same. you can you can cast uh, light and you realize... You see as you kind of uh, activate your lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> as you activate your mace, <laughs> you see it start to glow and you're like, yes... And then it gets swallowed up by the darkness. Hold like, on, no. hold on. I I <laughs> no. need to check Discord meme because I just thought of something. Uh, please, Discord, have this. Please, this is the classic habit. There we go. But yeah, you go to cast uh, light, and it does oh, no. not. Alright, he's just gonna smack. <laughs> Alright. Disadvantage. Disadvantage, go for it. Mm, that's probably not gonna hit. Uh, 11. 11 does not hit. Second attack. That's better. That's much better. 17 to hit. 17 hit. Uh. I think you. Yeah, does it get bonus he... DC from being in darkness? Well, technically, you can't hit anything if it has total cover, so I ruled it as three quarters cover because uh, makes sense. There is no like the rules of the rules of engagement in darkness. Uh, is the rules of darkness finicky? Um, so uh, that would not hit. Well, uh, this encounter is now a potential slog. <laughs> You, someone's just got to hit it to get rid of that darkness. <laughs> um, Trying. Then, right. You know, that's a real big ask with disadvantage. It's true. Um, but, uh, the thing, yeah, the problem turn. is you got to make it save on something. <laughs> All right. Be so. nice if most uh, save spells didn't need line of sight. I know, right? Uh, All right. We're in a catch-22. That is Spark. Uh, this yeah, other creature cannot move. Uh, I guess it would m not move because it can't see Spark, so it's going to stay cowering in its corner. Uh, Anatole is up. Um, I don't believe he has literally anything that can assist. Can he uh, run in and be a body? <laughs> <laughs> he could. Um... Let's see. Oh, yep, he needs to be able to see you to do that. Alright, yeah, he's gonna run in. Uh, he's gonna yell out and be like, Are you fighting stuff? Uh, and try to get over here! <laughs> Great. Uh, try to echolocate his way over there. Um... Oh, hey, we're here! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we're cornering this guy, and he's gonna roll at disadvantage. Hey, Nefira well, just needs on the die. Nefira just needs to move to get flanking, and we that might actually be... have some rolls. Yep, might have to take out that uh, small guy to do it. Oh my god, those were the worst rolls I've ever rolled in my fucking life. I didn't roll above a ten on a on six dice. 
<laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm totally he's coming. He's like swinging wildly, and at the last second, he has to like pull his sword back as he just like taps Spark on the shoulder with his uh, oh, his sword. Oh, he's like, oh, shit. Me, <laughs> oh, um, at least and... it's too short to be. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you're like, it's going over your head. <laughs> the uh... <laughs> just feels a gust of air, <laughs> and she's yeah. just like, hmm. All right, that's Anatole. It is now this creature's turn. Do I want to do something so that way this is less? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, it is going to drop the darkness. Sick. Well, there it is. How do I remove it? Also, uh, that was a real evil of it to be like, oh, I gotta protect the portal. <laughs> uh, and it is going to cast fear uh, in a cone. Ah. So I need Anatole, Nefira, and Spark to give me a our favorite wisdom save. <laughs> How the tables have turned. <laughs> How the tables have advantage turned. Advantage against being frightened. So <laughs> there you at go. least I have yeah. advantage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Spark's gonna make that uh, okay. with a tasty twelve. Um, that makes it. Uh, yeah. I have a thirteen. 13, that makes it, and Anatoly fit. <laughs> um, with You've tried, Anatoly. Pen. You've tried. <laughs> so he has no. to move uh, yeah, what are you? Move as far away uh, from oh, to your turns. You still think your dad's cool? <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time that he's been My dad is literally the coolest. <laughs> but yeah, he's also kind of like a, a wimp. So. Okay, so he has to, he doesn't move yet. He can only move on his turn. Um, so he is there. That did not work as the creature intended. He wanted you all to not fucking be there anymore. Um, and... Creature is getting a taste of what? Actually, no, it's not. It's getting worse than when Spark got. <laughs> uh, so, and then it's going to make a claw attack against Spark. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit. Oh yeah, that absolutely hits. Uh, six slashing damage and two acid damage uh, as this Yikes. nasty claw uh, kind of digs into your armor. All right, that is Um, let's see. Is it going to push its friend to the side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, let's see. He does not want to be here, but no one can get advantage on him here. <laughs> so, you know what? He's actually going to stay there. All right. That is this creature's turn. Uh, Pip, you're up. Nefira on deck. Okay. Hey, Nefira will finally get sneak attack. <laughs> True. Heck yes, okay. it's about time. <laughs> I still always laugh at how the rogue is the most party-dependent class. Mm -hmm. They said you can't be angsty today. You need friends. <laughs> Listen, they know what you need to do to get rid of the angst. <laughs> it's like, okay, but maybe... The the real treasure that we found along the way was like the friends that we made. <laughs> was the sneak attack advantage we gained. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the real treasure were the D6s we got to roll. Yes. <laughs> what you doing, Pip? Okay. Um Okay. Should I but maybe. Um You know what? I wanna use a new spell. I'll just get funky with it. It's fine. It'll be okay. Um, and yeah, I can do that. Um, that hip ducks um, under the uh, the chain link fence. <laughs> is there a fence? Yeah, it's like the yeah. little thing around the border is like a chain link. <laughs> Tries to climb it. Yeah. Like, mm. <laughs> Look, Eris vaulted it, but you're like, I'm half. I'm. This is at my <laughs> eyes. I'm gonna go under it. His ears vaulted. It's like ah, nice. He walks into a bar and he says "ow." <laughs> um, and then 
Um, be like, Fira, can I move you? <laughs> what? Can I move yes. you? Okay. Yes. Um, and then bonus action, push Nefira five feet toward, um, and like beside Anatoly. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, you can't move. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, so these two uh, are the only ones within 10 feet, so I'm gonna do Arms of Fadar. All Peace. right. Very or nice. Arms of Fadar. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is, is that a save for me? Or... It is a strength save, please. All right, this will be for the bear. DC is 12. Oh, yeah, wow. Sorry, I forgot where you were dropping it. That's what my reactions were <laughs> over. Um, Being... So the uh, bear rolled a 13 on the die. Of course. Um, and right. now this one is for the other demon with a 12. 8 plus Oh four. my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> So what well, happens when they save? Oh, oh, successful save uh, takes half damage, okay. uh, but suffers an effect. Um, okay, so... so that means the bear is back in it. Which means we can get flanking. Um, yeah, so that is um, eight half to four. For uh, what kind of damage? Necrotic. All right. It does what seems to be full damage. Okay. Uh, as, do you want to describe what um, oh. everyone sees uh, as <laughs> Pip runs Ooh. up? Oh, okay. Um, all right. Um, so the reflavoring, yes? Yeah, that's good. Sick. Okay. Um, right, they're snakes. <laughs> <laughs> but how could you think that? <laughs> I know um, what your patron is. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I invoke the power of Dendar and, um, snake-like tendrils, um, come from, come from me. Yeah, you see, you as Pip runs up in this water, um, almost like, what are they called? Like, the, the water snakes, um, they surface out of this, uh, little bit of water in the ground and swarm around these two creatures from linking back to Pip. It is very not obvious to really, like targeting, but just kind of like reaching out to whatever yeah. they can get in ten feet of them. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious to Spark, Anatoly, and Nefira, who are just having an audience. Eris probably Eris doesn't see this me. because it is blocked by um, it's okay. quite a few large individuals, and it's on the far side of the map. Um, <laughs> all right, anything else from you, Pip? That was uh, my action, bonus action, and movement. Cool. So I could, I moved 15 feet. I could move 10 more. Yeah. And you know what? You're gonna get in strike range? You're gonna get within swatting range of a bear? I was gonna do the opposite, but <laughs> oh, okay. you know what? Um, I'm gonna go here. So, All right. okay. It seems... Cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. All right, that is Pip's turn. Nafira up, Eris on deck. I know, it was cool, oh, right? <laughs> No, no, this is stew panicking. <laughs> this is absolutely stew panicking. Panic? <laughs> I don't know what you're panicking about. Well, sorry. Probably not stew. Probably spark. <laughs> so it's, there's now something that the party can now claw. Yeah, wow, that's I'm... the first time that you all saw a very obvious spell that has some snake flavor. Uh, Nefira. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> Nefira, what are you up to? Right. in his boot. <laughs> Nefira is scared. Um, <laughs> very worried about uh, Pip and what's going on there. But uh, we're also in the middle of combat, so and he's not attacking us this time. Hey, so step in the right direction. <laughs> it was one time. <laughs> One, one time too many, Pip. <laughs> listen, yes, one time too many, and you did go full scaly in the process. <laughs> yes, cool. last time was really not actually you. It was concerning. This time you seem to be in control, so let's focus on the actual devils, shall we? They're demons. Demons, <laughs> devils. Listen, I expect Nefira doesn't fiend. know the difference. I expected fiend racism from Spark, not Nefira. <laughs> it's rubbed off. 
Uh, <laughs> of course, she picked it up from him. Yeah. All right, Nafira, what are you doing? Any <laughs> <of this difference? laughs> All right, let's see. I'm actually pretty sure Spark doesn't either. <laughs> I get sneak attack, so you get sneak attack on the uh, the main demon, not the tiny one. But yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Me. You come back there and stab with magic dagger. All right, go for it. Straight roll. Straight roll. Okay, I rolled a 15, and I have a plus 7 to that, so... Yep, that hits. Yay. Alright. Dagger is a d4. Which d4? This is a nice one. Alright. We need... Did it go? There it is. <laughs> it's tiny, it flew off. Okay. <gasps> That's a four. Okay. <laughs> and now the sneak attack. I was so attack. worried. Yep. So four plus what? Four plus four. So that right. is eight damage. And sneak attack. I, oh, I get sneak attack. Fun, fun, fun. Ooh, and you. 3d6. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> A four, a six, and a six. A uh, sixteen. It's so nice. Yeah, you, Nefer, you run up and you uh, kind of jump and stab straight into like the lower abdomen of this very tall, um, lanky creature uh, and pull back. Uh, and you can kind of see the acid stream off this dagger as its blood is acidic. Um, and yeah, anything else from you, Nefira? That was a solid hit. It was a fantastic hit, <laughs> and it makes up the two from before, and I'm <laughs> happy about that. But the two got um, everyone a, a bingo slot, so <laughs> you know. That is true. <laughs> Listen, for all we know, somebody watching this down the road could have a bingo because of go. that. All right, Very anything true. else, Nefira? Uh, I don't no, what can I do? I don't think I have any decent bonus actions besides, like, disengage, which... You probably wouldn't do. <laughs> yeah. I should, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so... Isn't that the motto of this party? <laughs> <laughs> Basically is. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it, then. Okay. All right. That's Nefira's turn. Eris, you're up. Lulu on deck. Spark. All right. So, Eris is going to move 25 feet here and attack number one. All right. That is a 23. Yep, that hits. All right. All right. And that's 12 points of piercing damage. Halved. Because Against of... one? Oh, sorry. I thought you were attacking the no. the main guy. No. Twelve. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Does he? Have... I don't believe. knock it down to kill him. Yeah. Um, how do you want to do this? Ooh. Yeah. This time she knows they're they're quick to take out, so she's just gonna like stab it like right in the throat. I think just a little. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. All righty. And now that it's dead, she's gonna step on its over its body, I guess, and unless it disappears, like the devil's ones do, um, and make another attack against the other one with advantage. And that's the same thing to hit, uh, 23. Yeah, that hits. Yay, yeah, I rolled max on the damage die, nice. so that's 14, nice. which would, would have seven. seven. All right, you, uh, you stab into this uh, creature again, uh, kind of flinging this acid that starts to melt some of the stone along the walls. Mm -hmm. um, that is 
Eris' turn. Um, Lulu, then Spark. He's just gonna look at the helmet again, since she's just kind of looking over. It's like, eh, they don't need my help. <laughs> Lulu's like, I'm running. It's running out of room over there for people. Uh, does a 13 get something for reinspecting the helmet now that the portal is gone? Um, she's just using like investigation. Yeah. Uh, she gathers that. Um, there seems to be less of a struggle, uh, but it appears that he still can't remove the helmet himself. Cool, well, she'll probably inform them of that once things calm down. Yeah. <laughs> that's her turn. Yeah, that sounds like a no. It's, uh, it doesn't smell bad, but... So... There's a right. button there. All right, what are you doing, Spark? Uh, attacking at advantage. All right, go for it. Uh, that's going to hit, but let's fish for the crit. Same exact thing, uh, 24. That hits. Now he's going to use Nature's Kiss. All right. Let's just say the con save that was rolled before counts for this. So he failed? No, he passed the con save. To be blinded by dusty. Oh, bolt. okay. Uh, wow, you're. I rolled the exact same thing I did before, <laughs> so sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. Very nice, and that's all magical, right? Yep. Since the mace is magical and the damage from the tattoo is magical. Very nice. Uh, you. Uh, how is how is it this looking? Creature? Uh, it is definitely bloody. Um. But not quite on death's door. Hmm. Well, I'm waiting if Spurk's gonna be gutsy, but my brain's like, <laughs> dude, you gotta connect first. <laughs> I could roll bad twice. Oh, you. Well, I'm hitting. <laughs> That's a 19 plus stuff. Yep. Uh, still the 19 plus stuff. All right, that hits. Yeah, YOLO. I really hope I'm not gonna regret this. I'm sure it'll be fine. Another mono of the gremlins. <laughs> Alright. Let me just start rolling the 4d8. Oh wait, and the d6. As he pumps a second level Divine Smite into this fiend. Very nice. Well, that first smite wasn't as good. So, hold on. Sorry this takes so long to do the math. You're just adding well, while up you're three doing math. <laughs> it's like, sorry about that earlier. Uh, for some reason, I'm the only person in our house with a working nose. So <laughs> I'm always... All right, that's better. Do sniff test. <laughs> uh, 29 points of mixed bludgeoning and radiant damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, the yellow potentially it all. Otherwise, if you yeah. had if you had not done that, uh, you would have been the sole source of its uh, anger and frustration with another heat metal. So, <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, I'm... Mace to the side, follow up to the head, and uh, heads dust before the rest of the body starts to go. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, with that. Uh, combat is over as the final demon uh, kind of disintegrates and you see that the portal on the wall which had been like fractured um, finally vanishes the light of it vanishes and it's just left with a cracked stone wall where Spark had just gone to town with her mace <laughs> um, and oh so wait <laughs> just for humor's sake oh why I rolled two sixes on the mace dice, so the do the wall took eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. Uh. So. Wait. Sorry. Twenty-two. Eleven from each. Yeah. The D6, wall is. D6. Why couldn't you have rolled that well for any of the mace hits? The wall is crumbling, and it's uh, its foundation there. 
Um, but with that, uh, as you all stand in this inky uh, water that has your blood, demon blood, a little bit of holy water. Um, also body I'd forgotten until I looked closely uh, a at A ton this. of bodies. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, all those corpses. A ton of floating corpses that kind of you just oh. had to shuffle past of yeah. uh, Hell Riders oh, yeah. and uh, Flaming Fist. We will um, go take a quick break and then pick up uh, dealing with that helmet situation. <laughs> 